Hello my dear friends, this is another intuitive game. You see three crystals in front of you. For those of you who are watching this game for the first time, I'll explain the rules of this game. You can uh, get some, let's say, prompt, hint about something, about some situation in your life, about relationships or anything. But you don't have to ask some uh, uh, concrete questions that uh, uh, answer must be yes or no. The best way to ask cards it's like uh, my relationships with name the person or my situation at work during a uh, month of and name it. Then the first card will be for you it's like a check card. It will uh, describe the situation. Maybe your feelings about it, maybe the situation itself, some events, your hopes, fears or something like this. And then if it's correct, then you can listen what is not recommended for you, uh, what you shouldn't do there and the advice. So, my dear friends, if you need some more time, uh, this is the Moonstone, this is Tukis, it's Angel from Tukis, and I don't know the name of this green stone. I'm always forgetting it. Thank you for all of you who are watching my channel and writing below in comments uh, how the name of different stuff. <laughs> Just my, right here I'm without a dictionary. So, and you know that I'm not an English-speaking person, so it's not easy for me. But I'll try, because I don't want to leave you without this game. Uh, stop the video, because now I'll be opening cards for the Moonstone. How cards will describe the situation, what they will say about situation, card... Um, mm, it's death card in traditional deck, but here it's like rebirth. Because we see that uh, there is completely transforming, changing. So card of transformation of any kind and when transformation is happening, something old is dying, something new is coming in. Uh, like this phoenix rising uh, out uh, from the ashes. So it's like dying to come in some other form. So it's some ending, some uh, huge transformation, huge change. Maybe that uh, is uh, not like without any losses. So it can be, in our opinion, uh, for humans, sometimes this death, it's like we feel like we're losing something. Like it's over, we lost it and it's now we'll never have it again. But uh, in... Um, opinion of universe it's just transformation we'll see what you should do in this situation uh, night of uh, fire and the advice is silence the star in this transformation in this loss that can be stressful for for humans it's always stressful because when we, something is uh, like uh, it's uh, living our life. It's always stress, of course, because we're used to this. Uh, we prefer that this thing would stay and uh, will not be changed. What is not recommended in this case? Night of fire. We see someone, we see just face that is in fire and it's really with, on a high speed uh, moving forward, moving somewhere, running, traveling, flying. Uh, very passionate, but is in position what is not recommended. What is advice in this situation? Silence. 17th major arcana, it's like stars. So it's a question of uh, trust, hope, uh, keeping your mind silent so your intuition, your inner voice can. I don't know, like talk to you. There is no meaning of running, fighting, uh, moving, doing something because fights always action, passion, um, movement. Here 
You don't have to do it. Must be silence. Shh. Don't say a word. Don't run anywhere. Just close your eyes and uh, calm your mind. Maybe, probably, in this case, you will get some answers. Because while you're running, moving somewhere, trying to change something, trying to do something, you will miss something really important. So it's like this. Interesting things you are asking about. Mm, it's falling down. Maybe he wanna sleep. <laughs> For those of you who likes this angel, the situation, how cards will describe it. Relieve yourself. Eight of water. It's like eight of cup, cups. Uh, relieve yourself. Like um, for me, it's because what is re relieve yourself? Uh, forgive yourself. Relax. Let it be. Let yourself be free. Don't uh, like hold for something that is keeping you, um, if you feel uncomfortable. You have to forgive yourself, you have to allow yourself to move somewhere. So situation of probably uh, letting yourself uh, get to the better place, because Osha Zen, Osha Zen is philosophical deck. So. But it's Eight of Cups, when person uh, Eli got tired of something and he is leaving uh, because he is looking for better life. What is not recommended in this situation? Ah, relieve yourself. Here we have this baggage on the back, Six of uh, Clouds. And what is advice? Integration. You see... <coughs> Uh, relieve yourself situation here what you shouldn't do carry all this baggage on your back you see this poor man he looks so tired because this uh, well-dressed guy sitting over him and even this um how you call it I forgot this bird but you understand what I mean like it's a lot of things on him and he feels like I don't know if he can carry it so it's a lot of things on him. It's baggage that he is carrying and it's staying here. If you wanna like be free, if you wanna have this better place, you must you must not care all those things on yourself. Maybe it's somebody who is sitting on your neck. Maybe it's oops. Maybe it's uh, anything that uh, makes your movement heavy like it's impossible to relieve yourself how can i relieve myself if I, every everybody is sitting on me if i have so many things to do to care you have to you must not do it what is integration integration it's a card of adaptation getting used to something like uh, so you are Put, when you, we are coming into some new uh, situation or new environment, we're adapting ourselves to it. Uh, when we're coming together with a person, we're also adapting like, like this yin yang stuff. We are, yes, they are different, but they, when they combined, they are, um, they fit perfectly together. <laughs> So it's a question of integration, of healing, and you must not uh, have this heavy baggage. You must not care all this stuff. Oops.
I would say if you want to feel the relief of any kind, you must not uh, care all those things or people on your shoulders. shoulders. There must be some like in common work on all this stuff. So you will feel better. You will feel uh, really relieved. It will be easier for you. Situation, how cards des describing it, it's three of uh, cups, uh, three of water here, card of celebration, dancing, enjoying life, uh, it's uh, really always, if it's about love, it's wonderful, um, being together, feeling in love, being in love, enjoying life. Uh, it can be actually a celebration. I mean, like uh, we're going somewhere and celebrating something. So it's party time. Joy, happiness, pregnancy as well can be a question about pregnancy. So we'll see what cards will tell us not to do in this celebration stuff, in this happiness. Six of fire. Mm -hmm. What they, what they advise. Two of fire. Mm -hmm. Six of fire in position what is not recommended. Actually, this is a little bit selfish card. Like thinking, yes, he is successful, but, but he is thinking uh, about himself. And uh, seeing and feeling only himself a little bit. It's not recommended. Don't be selfish in this situation. Don't think only about your own, um, what you want, what you like, how it will be uh, the best way for you and only you. This is not recommended. Here we have uh, possibilities to of fire. Like you see this um, eagle uh, flying uh, over the mountains. And he can see the bigger picture. And he can see what possibilities he has. Success, but it's not recommended. Possibilities. Mm. For some of you, maybe I will disappoint something, somebody right now, but this Three of Cups, it's celebration party. Uh, maybe if you have been invited, yes, I will go there. Ooh. Maybe you, if you have, uh, I don't know, several possibilities to go somewhere maybe you should think about these uh, possibilities that you have these opportunities that you have maybe you should look a little bit more close to who is inviting you what it will be In this joy and happiness, what is on this card? Here, someone who is really successful, and because he is successful, maybe he thinks that it always will be like this. He is uh, enjoying uh, life, he is proud of himself, and stuff like that. In this situation, it, it's not, uh, they're not trying to say that you must not be happy. Enjoy the life, yes. 
but think about possibilities that are opening for you in this area maybe you can uh, use it later on if now you will be just like maybe you've got uh, I don't know somewhere and you're happy about it <clears throat> in some company for example you're enjoying life you are so happy instead of uh, I am uh, the best uh, it will always be like this forever don't think like this think about possibilities that you can have through it and don't be too too much self-confident I would say it's too much here he's so happy that he see nothing around him he doesn't see any enemies only seeing himself and enjoying that he he is the best because when this eagle is there up in the sky he see the possibilities where he can land where he can't land where this the lake the river the water the mountain everything he can see everything he sees his possibilities this one he is so uh, busy with his uh, pride <laughs> that see nothing. So don't be like this. Don't think that it will last forever. So you have to see what possibilities you've got and how you can use it for your own good. I would say it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the life. But uh, for some reason, maybe it will be not very clever just uh, to enjoy this particular moment one moment and then when it will be over nothing will be left you understand what I mean sometimes when we uh, getting something and it's really pleasant we are happy we enjoying it it's a good thing actually we can be happy but we can see what possibilities we have we have what opportunities is opening in front of us instead of uh, like ooh, I'm living here like one day it's not the last day that you're living you have 100 ahead of you so you have to think about it I'm wishing you a great new year celebration I'm wishing you luck love happiness joy dancing singing and hope to see you next time bye